Hi, it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com here today to show you how to make this. Can you guess what it is? Knitted barefoot sandals. You're going to need worsted weight yarn, size US 7 or 4.5 millimeter needles. They can be straight, they don't have to be circular. A crochet hook, size G, a darning needle, and beads, which are optional. So let's get started. So you're going to start with a slip knot. Leave a tail of about 12 inches or so because you're going to need that later. Wrap it twice. Pull this one over, this one over, and pop your slip knot onto your needle. So we need to have two stitches cast on at the start. So do one more and there's two. Then row one, you're gonna knit both of these stitches. Remember to leave your 12 inch tail. You're gonna come back to that. So row one is knit two. And then you turn it and row two is knit two. Row three is knit one, yarn over, knit one. Ta-da! Now you have three stitches. Next row, knit one, purl one, Knit one. So we're starting right here. So we've done this much. See, there's a little hole. Here's this hole. So we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Row number five. We're going to knit one. We're going to yarn over. We're going to knit one. We're going to yarn over. And we're going to knit one. Row five. Done. Boom. Row number six. Knit one. Purl three, one, two, three, knit one. Row number seven, we're gonna knit one. We're gonna yarn over. We're gonna knit three, one, two, three. We're gonna yarn over, knit one. Row seven, done. Row eight. You're gonna knit one, purl all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. So one, two, three, four, five purls, and then knit the final stitch. Row eight, done. We're halfway done through the rows. If I'm going too fast for you and it's confusing, be sure to check out my absolute beginner knitter video and my purling video and I break it down really slow all in slow motion so you can follow along and learn the stitches and then come back to this video. Row number nine, we're gonna start with a knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Now we're gonna do a center double decrease across the next three stitches. So to do that, you slip two together as if to knit. So stick your right needle through both of them and slide them off the left needle. Knit the next stitch and then pass both of these two stitches over and off. And it creates a nice little center decrease. So then you yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. And that was row number nine. Row number 10, you're gonna repeat row eight. So knit one, 
purl until you have one stitch left. So purl two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then knit the final stitch. And that was row number 10. Row number 11, we knit the first stitch and yarn over, knit two, yarn over, and then we're gonna do that center double decrease again. So slip two as if to knit them, knit the next stitch, and then pass these two slipped stitches back over that newly knitted stitch. Okay, then we yarn over, knit two, yarn over, knit one. Row number 12, you're gonna repeat row number eight, which is knit the first and last stitches, purl all the stitches in between. And you wanna make sure that you're flipping your knitting each after each row, because we're working back and forth, back and forth. Purl, purl, and then knit the final stitch. Row 13 is knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. So you slip one, slip another one. You're just moving them from the left to the right needle. And then knit. You do that by inserting your left needle into both of them and knitting both together and off. Then you knit one, then you yarn over, and we're gonna do another center double decrease. Slip two, knit, pass those two slip stitches off, and then yarn over, knit one, knit two together, so stick your needle into both stitches and knit them together and off, yarn over, and knit one. Row 13 is complete. Row 14, repeat row eight. So knit one, purl all the way across until one stitch remains. Purl, 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 purl. Purl that stitch, purl that stitch, and then you knit the final stitch. Boom. Two more rows to go. The next row is a complex one. It's the granddaddy of them all. Row number 15. Let's knit one. Yarn over. Slip, slip, knit. Slip, slip, knit. Knit two. One, two. Yarn over, now we're gonna knit, yarn over, knit two, knit two together, yarn over, and knit one. And that's row 15. Now for the final row, whoop whoop! And row 16 is repeat row eight. So knit the first stitch and purl all the way across till you have one stitch left and knit the final stitch. Then we're gonna bind off and make our ties and we're done. Whoa, the crowd goes wild. So now we're gonna bind off. So now we're going to bind off by knitting two stitches 
and passing this stitch over and off. Knit one, pass this one over and off. Just a standard bind off. You don't have to worry about keeping it loose. In fact, it kind of helps if it's snug because that'll make a nice curve in your little barefoot sandal and it'll shape on your foot better. So go all the way across until you've bound off all your stitches and then we will make the ties. Oops. Okay. Now I like to use a crochet hook to make the ties just because it's fastest and easiest. Uh, and we're gonna chain 65, or you can do more if you want longer ties. 80 is a good amount if you want enough to tie a bow. If you don't know how to crochet, you can check out my video on that. I have several actually, and that'll get you started. So we're just doing a simple chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's the length of 65 chains. You probably wanna do a little more. I just wanted short, short little ties. So if you're wanting to tie a bow behind your ankle, I suggest doing about 80. Now we're gonna cut our tail and put our bead on. If you wanna have beads on yours, go ahead and thread your bead onto your yarn. and tie a knot to secure it if you like. Next, thread your tail onto your darning needle and weave your tail back down through the chain. In and out, in and out, in and out, and go all the way down and that's gonna secure it so you have a nice, pretty little tie. And then just cut off the excess, if you have any. Just cut that off. For the other tie, you're gonna do the same thing. I like to start with a slip knot and attach your yarn to the other side of your triangle. Not the start, but the other side. And chain 65, attach your bead, do everything you did on the other side. So here's our two pieces. We're about to do this loop that wraps around your toe and we'll be done. Now you can see this one has been blocked. It's been pinned out and dried and so it holds its shape. This one hasn't, so you can see the difference. I do have a video on blocking if you wanna check that out too. So let's go ahead and make our loop. Insert your hook into this hole here Grab your yarn and pull it through, and you're gonna chain 20. This is the tail that we left when we first started. So once you've done the 20 chains, you wanna cut your end, thread it onto a darning needle, and weave it into the backside, making sure to really secure it, even maybe tie a knot just so it doesn't come undone, and weave in all your ends, and you're done. So once you're all done, this is what you're going to have, and obviously you want to make two, so go ahead and do all of that again. And you'll have your adorable barefoot sandals. You can wear these on the beach. They're great for weddings too, or picnics, or whatever you like. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. And also go ahead and comment below with any ideas you have for future videos, and I will do my best to make them happen. Also head over to my website, expressionfiberarts.com and sign up for my email newsletter because I'm gonna send you free knit and crochet patterns as well as tell you about our big monthly yarn giveaways and a lot more so you don't wanna miss out on that. All right, take care now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.